In iOS 10, 3D Touch has been implemented in more places and is becoming more important. Here are the new ways to use it. So one of the biggest changes is notifications. Now they are 3D Touch enabled, so when you get a notification, you can interact with them. You just press on one and you get different options depending on the app, but it allows you to take action without having to go into the app itself. And also having to do with notifications, in the notification center, if you 3D touch on the X, you get the option to clear all of your notifications so you don't have to go one by one. Now, using 3D touch on icons has changed a bit as well. Now, when you touch on an icon, you can see a widget along with the other options that we were used to. So again, you don't have to go into the app to get the information you're looking for, it can be right there. And there's also a new option to share, and this sends a link to the app in the app store so you can download it. When you are downloading an app, another use for 3D Touch is to press on the downloading app icon and you get the option to either pause it or cancel the download. Also, with folders, you can 3D Touch on one and you get the option to rename it. And if there's an app inside a folder with a notification badge, you can jump directly to that app without having to open up the folder. In the control center, you can also use 3D Touch. You can use it on the shortcuts on the bottom and you get different options. For the flashlight, you can choose different intensities. The timer has set times to quickly go to. The calculator allows you to copy your last result. And the camera allows you to use those same options that you would if you 3D touch on the camera app directly. Now, some apps have also received some new implementation. In the Messages app, when you're sending a message, there's new bubble effects. And to get to them, use 3D touch on the send button and you can choose from the different options to send. And if you want to see all the new features in the new Messages app, be sure to check out the link down in the description. And also in the Apple Music app, when looking at songs you can 3D touch on them to see many different options like adding it to your library or a playlist and different streaming options. And also to see all the new features in the Apple Music app, be sure to check out the link down in the description. So those are the new ways 3D Touch is used in iOS 10. It's still in beta, so some things may change, but this gives us a good idea of what to expect in the fall. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to subscribe and visit MacRumors.com for more. I want to thank you all for watching. I'm Mac Gonzalez with MacRumors, and I'll see you next time.